Well, tomorrow is set to be the last day that eliminated Chrysler dealerships are going to be able to sell new cars. But what about all those cars they still have on their lots? Where will they go and when? And what's the future for those dealerships? Fox 11.7 Peralta has multiple views on what could be the end of an era. It might be the end of the road come Tuesday for Norman Miller's Oshkosh Chrysler dealership. The final chapter hasn't been written yet. He's holding out hope something may change in the appeal process, but hasn't been sitting idly the last three weeks after hearing the news. Of the 30 on his lot then, he sold all but six. Which is a miracle. We, our sales were so beyond our expectations, it was unbelievable. He's had to slash prices, sometimes making very little or just breaking even. His is just one of 789 dealers across the country Chrysler says just doesn't make sense to have in a struggling economy. There just aren't enough customers to support the number of dealers that we have. Chrysler says three weeks ago eliminated dealers were holding on to about 44,000 cars. As of Friday, all of about 3,000 have been sold or transferred to other dealers. And Norman is working hard these last few hours to either sell or transfer his remaining six to other dealers. Quitting is not an alternative. But he more than likely won't find a home for all his parts and specialized tools he'll no longer be able to use to service cars under warranty after Tuesday, amounting to about $75,000. It's a price the head of Wisconsin's DOT dealer section says may have to be eaten. Under normal circumstances, if a franchise is pulled, state law requires the manufacturer to buy back cars, parts, and tools. But in the case of a bankruptcy, um, sometimes the bankruptcy court will, will disregard the franchise laws in the state, and I think that's the question here. So Norman waits and hopes for some good news Tuesday, and in the meantime refuses to say anything bad. Any hard feelings? No, that, that's not going to get anywhere. In Oshkosh, Evan Peralt, Fox 11 News. Thirteen of the dealers in the state uh, that are to be closed have filed an appeal in federal court to try to make the company live up to the state's franchise law. A decision is expected tomorrow on whether the franchises will in fact be pulled. As for Miller, he says he'll continue to sell new Lincoln and Mercury vehicles along with used cars.